This is the Ramsey Laser Beam Communicator Kit. It allows you to communicate through a laser beam only. No Wi-Fi, no uh, radio waves. Pretty amazing. I've only built a voltmeter and a AM FM radio, <laughs> but that was 35 years ago back in junior high. Okay, the kit comes with uh, instructions. The instructions are pretty good, but a little bit higher level for these kind of kits. Um, it was a little bit harder. You're going to have to look up a few of these on the internet, how to follow. I tried to label all the pieces individually. That way it was much easier to put together. Piece, the kit came with many, many pieces. You have to build both the receiver and the uh, transmitter. Mostly I'm just interested in the transmitter. So mostly I'll just talk about the transmitter but the receiver is also quite interesting and fun to play with with the uh, students I have. Um, as you see inside there was a uh, small red laser. I took it apart already, the kit. Uh, it, it's garbage. Um, basically I just use that as a demonstration to students and I have a bunch of other spare pieces. Here's the two boards that you're supposed to use. Where's the other one? Okay, these are the two boards. Um, back back has some instructions of what the thing looks like and what its number is. Pretty nice. All together, pretty fun kit. Okay, here are the objects from the kit. Here's the kit itself. Uh, here is the, on this side we have the receiver and the transmitter that I built already. Um, this is a plug-in cord separate that I bought. This is part of a pen laser. Um, this is the USB um, speaker set that I have already, I didn't buy it for this, and you hook it up so you can hear the communication come over the laser. This is the transmitter. The transmitter will send your message through a laser beam that comes out right here. Um, the thing I changed about the transmitter was that it came with a really crappy red laser and so I had to use some of my green lasers. As you see, I have a lot of green lasers. The other half of this is somewhere else, but it's more powerful than it looks. Uh, this little laser, the red laser, might go uh, 500 meters to um, maybe 1,000 meters, but I really wanna, wouldn't want to test a piece of garbage like that. Uh, I got a green laser. This one uh, says 50 milliwatts. 50 milliwatts is incredibly huge. Mostly you could only buy five milliwatts. Uh, this one, however, this little one I'm holding my hand, this one is 100 milliwatts. It is very powerful. I have used it at night near some fireworks on a building and other people put their green lasers on the building and my beam was uh, 10 times, maybe 20 times more glowing, more powerful. Everyone oohed and awed when they saw mine. And especially when it cut through the smoke with the green, uh, green laser light. Anyway, uh, this is the transmitter. As you see, it's very easy to unhook the laser. Uh, let me take out the red laser. I was using it as a demonstration for my students. Let me put in the green laser. You see, you in the green laser, you have to hook up one clip here and one clip to the center. Okay, here we go. Which clip goes where? Doesn't really matter. It's gonna work, and if it doesn't, it burns out, so what? You buy another one. I got like four or five of these lasers. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, clip there and clip the red one to the center. I've never had a problem with a laser burning out. They probably do. I certainly tried hard enough to do it, but uh, <laughs> they don't do it. I want to burn this baby out. That way I can pick myself up another upgrade. You see, I'm not just upgrading it from a red laser to a green laser that's 100 milliwatts. I'm upgrading it from 100 milliwatts very soon to 500 milliwatt pen laser. 500 milliwatt will cut to the moon and keep the, the, uh, the size of the beam, the width of the beam, very much even compared to this one. But this one is awesome, absolutely awesome. You can shoot it into space and send all kinds of great messages with it. And I have. This is the receiving end of the kit. Um, I put this together and this adjusts the volume over here, this part. Um, you can also plug in some earphones and here you can plug in a recording device, say 
um, I was going to plug in my iPhone 3GS until it, it exploded. Thank, thank you, iPhone. Anyway, I was going to plug it in and record messages coming in. Uh, I could still do that, but I really don't think you're going to get an answer uh, as easily as I might want. Uh, this over here you see is a solar panel. I got this from an old kit that I was doing, another DIY kit, and so I took it off that one and put it here. Okay, uh, I put these uh, sticky sided Velcro areas on here to hold it and there you go. Now it's balanced really good. The box did not come with the kit. The box is actually a colored pencil box. I got it at the bookstore for about um, one US dollar with the pencils inside and I dumped the pencils, gave it to some kids and kept the boxes. Great way to get a very cheap box. It's very effective. Uh, this is powered by a 9 volt battery. It is. It doesn't have to be. Um, I, I also have the plug in over here. Uh, this is an adjustable plug. If you look carefully right here, you can see it has several areas. Uh, 12, 9, 7.5. I push this puppy up to 12. Okay, because I want this to be powerful. I'm not going for caution. I'm not going for careful. If I want to be careful, I wouldn't be doing this in the first place. A lot of you might be wondering how I sent messages through the laser, how I recorded them and sent them. Well, I use an iPhone 4S and it has the earphones right there. I just plug that part into the laser transmitter and send the message. I use this app. It comes with the iPhone. It's called Voice Memo. Op opens this up, you start talking, and when you're talking, it's totally recording everything you say for free. And it's wonderful, you don't have to pay anything. You can email this to your email, open it up, and have it play. You can s download some free uh, music apps and make it play and send it over your laser. There's many different ways to do it. Or you could just um, record it over a video and send the video sound, voice only, of course. They won't send video. Okay. Okay, guys, this is my iPhone, which is playing the music because my son played the music, I recorded it. It's sending it from my iPhone through the laser to the receiver. There's some feedback, I'm getting some feedback from the electronics in the wall, the wiring is causing some noises. Also, it helps if you turn off the lights, see how I have my iPhone plugged into it? It helps if you turn off the lights so that the laser communicator could get a more perfect beam to hit the receiver. The lights are on so the, the light is interfering with the laser light causing a reduction in quality. Now I'm not using a green laser because I don't want to damage my camera. I'm not sure if that would do it or not. And I certainly don't want to damage my eyes. I use that just for long distance, preferably. And so this is a laser communicator working. Okay, let's try to play some regular old music a little bit. Uh, see what you think of that. Okay, that's Rhina. Pretty good. But what I want to do now is show you a trick. There is a microphone built into this right here in this location. Let me raise it up a little bit so you can see that. Um, I'm going to talk into the microphone and see what happens. Okay, let's move this small piece. I have to take this out and move it over to here. And when I'm talking, you should hear my voice or not. Depends how stupid I want to look. Okay. Um, no. You can also use the built-in microphone, which is right here in the back near the start button. Uh, if you slightly move an object, I'll show you in a minute, uh, you can use it to communicate yourself verbally. Hello, can you hear me? The message is going through the laser and hitting the solar panel. It's pretty amazing.
actually not so amazing and not so useful but if you really just want to talk to send messages to somebody maybe to another window that's a few hundred meters or a mile away you can talk this way directly into it and the other person if they have a transmitter can also send a message too this right here is the small piece I took out and changed position it was far to this side I will put it far to that side over there okay here we go now it is back into the non microphone mode it will only take signals coming through these this uh, wire okay let's try this again okay, let me show you the beam is on it's shooting right through there Speakers are down there lower so they won't interrupt with the signal. They do interrupt. Kind of cool. Okay, watch carefully. I'm going to interrupt the signal with my hand. Pretty cool. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, I'll try to get back and answer them. I don't always get to answer every day, but I will drop by every week just to uh, see if I can answer any questions you have. Okay, thanks a lot, and uh, please visit UFO Sightings Daily sometime.